Hey everyone, Andy here at Maltech again, and today we're going to be boring a carburetor out. I'm not going to show you all the details of this, I just wanted you to be informed you know, kind of how people do this. Um, this is how we do it. Um, I'm going to take you over to the bench and I'm going to show you right now how we've uh, torn the carburetor down and how far it has to be torn down in order to do this. Alright, well here's a, a carburetor that's tore down. Um, you can see individually there's quite a few pieces here that have to be taken off of this carburetor uh, in order to bore it out. There's some uh, screws that have to be, there's some locking material, they don't want you tampering with them. You have to actually dig that stuff out in order to get them out and you can strip one really easy. As you can see here's the stock Venturi and we put the new Venturi on here because we have to center off of that new Venturi. But I don't know if it's going to pick it up on camera or not. You see the size difference between the uh, stock carburetor bore size and this 43.5 millimeter uh, new Venturi ring. These are pretty expensive also and they have to be replaced. This carburetor is pretty dirty. We don't clean them until, unless there's huge chunks. Um, we don't clean them until we're completely done. When you get a carburetor back, uh, it'll look like brand new. Put it, we put it in an ultrasonic cleaner on heat and uh, with some special formula in there and clean it off. Uh, and it looks like new again, but it sure be nice if we did get nice and clean ones in all the time. Here's a couple more. We've got one here that's actually these are both bored out already, uh, ready to go back out. and. Uh, now I'm going to talk, take you back over, we're going to go to the milling machine and I'm going to show you the last operation, what we've got left to do on it. So we're going to run it in low gear, we're going to get a better finish that way with a low gear setup. We're going to move it until we get it locked in low gear, which is right there. Hit it in low gear and then we're going to spray it with some WD-40, get a little better finish with that.
looks. About seven one three and three tenths. That'll work. That's close enough. So what we're gonna have to do now is get our uh, venturi, and we're gonna have to set it in here. This venturi has to go back in here like this, and then uh, we have to put everything together. And you can see, try to get a better angle of it here. I think you can see that. See how it lines up inside the bore now. So once we button that all down, and we're going to clean it all up, then we have to take and make sure we blew the sides here and here actually all the way around the slide doesn't stick or hit anywhere around this circumference here so I've had that happen many times this piece we've actually gone in and we've milled off this side here because when they made these rings they didn't make them right so every ring that we've got in we had to go in and mill this section off the side here and we haven't had a problem since I don't know why they don't they've got them all set wrong and usually this hole here we have to clean it up also in order to go over this uh, spigot that sticks up to where your emulsion tube sticks through so I hope you guys like this video and hope it find it helpful um, I know you. I was always curious before we started doing this stuff in-house how guys were doing this and we just figured we'd uh, share this with you.